and welcome back to my channel. So this video is really exciting. I'm going to be talking all about at home micro dermabrasion. So um, before I start this video, I just have to mention quickly, I'm not a professional. I'm not an esthetician. But if you watch my videos, you probably know I love doing things at home by myself. You know, I've been doing my own hair for years. Um, I tried doing my nails at home, didn't work that great. But, you know, I'm a big fan of doing beauty-related treatments, you know, beauty maintenance at home. Now, recently, I've been getting more into skincare because I am 25 years old. And so I want to make sure that, you know, I keep my skin looking great and fresh and youthful for as long as possible. And I started researching a little bit about microdermabrasion, you know, what it was and, you know, all the great things it could do for your skin. I realized you can actually do it at home. So I was really excited. So today I'm going to talk about all the great benefits of my microdermabrasion I'm also gonna show you how to actually do it on your skin and I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to care for your skin after to get the best result more special today because my parents recently launched an online boutique it's called CNZ imports and there's something for everybody on there there's a mommy and me section there's some beauty products there's some great products for men like your kitchen like there's really something for everybody in your family and I'm super happy for them because they work really hard on this and this micro dermabrasion device is actually one of the products on the boutiques and they also gave me a coupon code for you of course so if you want to shop anything on the website you can use the code Chloe 10 for 10% off at all times and then for this special product you can actually use Chloe 20 that will give you 20% off on this but yeah I was super excited to share this with you um, if you're interested to check out the website it will be listed down below but now let's get started with the actual video so what are the benefits of microdermabrasion so microdermabrasion first of all you use a little device like that which I'll talk about more later but um, it's really great at softening fine lines and so me right now you know I'm pretty young I'm 25 as I said but you know I have some fine lines on my forehead a little bit and you know it's something I want to prevent you know now, it's also great at reducing dark spots spots and helping fight against sun damage now personally I don't have dark spots but when I go outside when I tan a little bit I have white spots which I don't know what's worse um, and so hopefully the more I use this um, it will really help to kind of even out my skin now of course it's also really great at really deep cleaning your pores it's gonna help to remove your blackheads and it's also gonna help to reduce open pores it's also great at reducing acne scarring and it's great for mild acne as well yeah it's also great for sensitive skin I was worried at first because I have really sensitive skin but with the specific attachment I use I'm totally fine now it's also gonna help to promote cell turnover and it's gonna boost your collagen to make your skin tone more even so these are the main benefits of micro abrasions if you know any other benefits definitely leave those in the comments below now you can do this treatment just to maintain you know your skin every two months um, but if you're just starting with this treatment you can do it once a week don't do it too often because you will irritate your skin okay now you want to make sure your skin is prepped for this treatment so first you should avoid sun tanning or even fake tanning before doing this treatment um, because it's just going to irritate your skin even more so you don't want to do that um, also no waxing you might see in the video in the demo video I definitely have a mustache you might not be able to see it hopefully you won't um, and I, I didn't do my brows either but yeah don't don't shave your face. I personally shaved my face so I didn't shave my face or wax or anything before I did this treatment in the video. Also you want to wash your face with a gentle uh, oil free cleanser right before you do this. Okay now let's talk about the actual device you're going to use to do this microdermabrasion. So it comes first of all in this beautiful box kind of matches my nails which was totally not planned. Um, so this is the little device that you get. Now it also comes with a a bunch of different attachments now when you get the product you'll see you have all the info you need on the back so you can read more about it now the great thing about this is that it comes with a USB uh, cord so you don't need any batteries you can just charge this like you charge your phone and then you also get a little tool like this which is going to be uh, useful to help you remove those blackheads but be gentle with tools like that don't be too intense okay so the actual device um, looks like that it's super sleek super simple which I love you only get one button right here so if you just press it once this is the soft setting and then you have the normal setting and the strong now the strong is strong you get four different attachments so you get this one which is my favorite now you get a tiny one like this which is really great to go around your nose and then you have like the bigger attachment like this 
and a smaller version of that which is really great if you want to go a second time to remove like the dead skin oh and one last thing i forgot to mention that you get these extra little sponges right here now these little sponges just go inside the attachment um now if you clean your attachments really well every time you use them you can totally share this with all your family members this with your friends you can do it to your friends uh, because you can change little sponges you can okay so this is my favorite attachment now this one is really great for people with oily skin now per se i don't have oily skin i have normal to dry skin but it's very sensitive this attachment is the one with the least suction so i find this one works best for me i get like the best results um and of course this is on the soft setting and then this is the more intense well this is the normal and then you have the strong but again this one is not too strong for me and if i was to use this one now as you can see this one the suction is much stronger and this is just on the soft and then normal this will suction a lot so depending on your skin type and skin sensitivity um you might use a different uh, attachment so when you're doing this you want to make sure you're um like pulling on your skin like that so your skin is like tight and you just go like this your skin will get slightly red that's totally normal um and then you just go and you do your whole face then let's do my cheeks uh, make sure you only go over the same area once and then when you're completely done with your whole face if your skin is not red you can do it again but if your skin is slightly red it's preferred just to do it once and when you're doing it just make sure you don't go too slow I mean don't go too fast but don't go too slow either <laughs> then your jaw now if you're someone who um, tends to break out like on your chin and like neck jaw area this is really good to do now i tend to break out on my chest um if you get you know sometimes those little blackheads those little pimples on your chest this is really good to do now i got a bit of sun this past weekend so i don't want to do it but you can definitely do the same technique on your chest as well so now for the nose you could definitely switch to like the smaller um attachment like this but i'm just gonna keep this one um so again for your nose you just want to make sure you're like pulling on your skin and this is really good to do like right in that little crease area like that now i know we're all concerned about the nose area the blackheads on our nose but don't just keep your device on your nose for an extended period of time you really have to do the same as your face because if you just leave it on for long it's gonna irritate your skin so don't be disappointed if all your blackheads are not gone in one session it's gonna take a few sessions to really deeply clean your pores and get rid of those blackheads so don't be too intense at first i know it's tempting and then for your chin you can just go like this And then I will do my jaw where I have some breakouts. Then you can also do this around your eyebrows. Um, I tend to get a lot of dry skin um, on my eyebrows. so. But as you can see, my skin is just a tiny bit red, like right over there. My cheeks are the most sensitive areas of my face. Um, so let's say like my forehead is not red. I could definitely do a second pass on my forehead. Um, but just today, I'm not going to redo it. But I would definitely not do it again on my cheeks. And then lastly, what I really like to do, I just press on this button for a little while. And then you have the blue light here at the back. I'll just go over my skin like that. Now this is gonna help uh, to reduce oil. It's also gonna help with cell turnover. And then when I'm done, I just press on that button again and it turns off. 
so super easy to use now my skin feels great right now it doesn't feel like too irritated and then i'm just going to go in with the moisturizer i use on the daily so it's by kiehl's it's the calendula serum infused water cream now this has like a serum infused as the name says so i really like to use that um, it has a super light texture, so I feel like it's good for every day before my makeup. So personally, I'm not going to put makeup on my face, like actual face makeup, but I will go, you know, do my mascara, a bit of concealer underneath my eyes, and um, yeah, I'll show you how so I I would recommend you go makeup free for the rest of the day when you're doing this treatment. Now... I did cheat a little bit not gonna lie I do have a bit of bronzer right here um, and then I covered my pimple okay then the other few little things that are really important to do like right after if you want to get the best results from this treatment um, try to stay away from the Sun now if you have to be out in the Sun definitely use SPF also definitely be gentle with your skin uh, don't use any harsh uh, cleansers you know exfoliants or anything like that just make sure you're using a good moisturizer now for your skincare I would stay away from like serums or creams or you know cleansers that contain glycolic acid um, benzoyl peroxide I have them written right here um, retinol I think you should wait like about a week to start using your retinol again um, any acne like topical acne medication you should wait a couple days um like 24 48 hours but if you can wait like three days that would be the best um and i think i've said everything yeah just make sure you're very gentle with your skin you don't want to irritate it and yeah personally i've done this treatment a few times and i can definitely tell a difference like my skin looks pretty good you know i definitely have a bit of redness right now on my skin but it looks good it looks youthful it looks like you know my, my skin is looking fresh and so I really like doing this I feel like it just makes my skin texture much softer and I just feel like when I take really good care of my skin my makeup just looks even better so if you want nice makeup glowing makeup um, I would definitely recommend you take care of your skin because that's the it's the foundation of you know the, your skin is your foundation of your makeup pretty much but yeah if you've ever tried microdermabrasion either in a salon or at home definitely leave your thoughts uh, down below how it works for you why you like it why you don't like it maybe i don't know uh, if you're interested to try this i will for sure leave the link down below and chloe 20 for 20 percent off so that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you enjoy i hope you learned something personally there's so many beauty treatments that i want to do and i don't want to have to go to a salon to do it i just want to do it in the comfort of my own home if you have any questions about microdermabrasion about the product even about the website cnz imports of course leave your uh questions in the comments below i will get back to you as soon as possible and i really hope you enjoyed this video i had lots of fun filming this of course you can follow me on instagram at chloe's adore and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you very soon in a new one bye